the only way to stay committed to your health goals and to actually succeed in them. And it's not what you think. I'm Coach Ambridge, founder of Demi Cycle Protocol. And over the past year, we've helped over 50 high achievers and corporate executives permanently get below 15% body fat, double their natural energy levels, and get in the best shape of their life without counting calories, without spending more than two to three hours per week in the gym or whatever workout facility they use, and without sleep drugs, sedatives, or melatonin. And the reason we were succeeding and we made this happen for each of our clients is that they could stay committed to their health goals and the protocol that they received to achieve that in the enjoyable and sustainable way. And here's the key. If you can't enjoy the protocol that you're following, don't expect succeeding, right? If you couldn't follow that kind of health program that you're following right now on any single day of the year, right? Even when you're on holiday, even when you are visiting your relatives, your family that you haven't seen, let's say, for years. So even in the extreme cases, let's say half of your family lives on another continent and you have to visit them and you're there for a month, you haven't seen them for two years and you're still able to follow that protocol. Now that type of health program is something that works in the long term because no matter how crazy times you're living in, you will be able to actually stick to it, right? But for that, you need a program that you can stay consistent with, right? Because without it, you can't be committed. You can't be committed without consistency, right? You can't be committed to a contract without consistently delivering on that contract. You can't be committed to a relationship without consistently putting effort into that relationship. But if the contract is not worth it for you or the relationship is not beneficial for you in some sort of way, then probably you won't stay consistent and you won't stay committed, right? So you have to think about, do you enjoy the program that you're following right now? Is it simple enough for you to follow? And is it actually suitable for your lifestyle and schedule? This is the only three things that you need to think about. Anything else you can scrap it, right? If it is, if the answer for these three questions is no, then it's a massive no-no for you. That's, that's a program that you shouldn't follow. That's, that's just a set of rules that keeps restricting your life, putting you into a bracket that you are keto, you're carnivore, that you're vegan, and all of this bullshit, right? And you keep identifying with something that's not you. That's not your work, that's not your personality, that's not what your family likes, that's not what anyone around you likes right? You will become miserable, insufferable, and you will give up on your health goals. You will lose some fat, but you will gain it back immediately once you stop that protocol that's not the right fit for you and that's not sustainable and enjoyable for you. And when it comes to consistency, first you want to focus on the fundamental. And here's my old little dog in the meantime. So, you really want to focus on the fundamental, just like dogs, right? Every day they wake up, they move, they eat, and they recover and sleep, right? Am I right? Let's listen to the answer. Looks like she agrees. But anyway, just think about it. Imagine your priorities of your health program or the priorities of your entire lifestyle like a pyramid, right? And at the bottom of the pyramid, you have your habits. And this is where the tricks come into the equation. So at the beginning, any habit, any new habit will be difficult for you to pick up because your brain is your laziest organ. So for your brain, it takes 21 days to transform a high energy, so a difficult activity into a low energy, so an easier activity, a habit, right? The neural pathways work in a way that whenever you're doing something new, your brain just doesn't want to do it because it takes too many calories, right? Too much energy to actually execute on that habit. But once you force your brain to repeat that new type of activity again and again and again, it will become the easiest thing for your brain to do. And that's the great thing about it. Just um, look at this scenario. Let's say you hate walking, right? Your brain hates walking, but you know that it's needed for you to get in shape, to lose more pounds, and to have a slimmer waist or whatever you want to achieve, right? You barely walk 2,000 steps a day, right? 
but you start forcing your brain to take that six to eight thousand steps every single fucking day and you will get there and you will achieve your goals so in the beginning the first few days it will be very difficult you just don't want to do it you will say you don't feel like it and I understand right but after 21 days it will become for your brain the easiest thing to do and now you have added a new habit to your stack to the bottom of the pyramid and why am I saying this because now that your brain enjoys the activity you can enjoy it too it will be suitable for your lifestyle too so this is how you can add things that you previously did not like to the list of things that you like by establishing habits but it won't work in any other way so if you start like a crash diet or like a 75 heart challenge which has like a strict set of rules you know like dozens of rules at the same time it's not gonna work when it comes to habits the difference is that you only add one to three at a time you're not stacking more first you get consistent with one thing and then you get consistent with the rest and on top of this in the pyramid so I would say the, like the middle level of the pyramid is basically your nutrition and your movement so your nutrition and your training and your sleep sorted in a way that it fits your lifestyle so now that you've got some basic health habits going right how do you want to make sure that you stay committed to the fundamentals you start slow you start little right two workouts a week right once you get consistent with two workouts a week you can have three workouts a week four workouts a week okay after that you get to the area of diminishing returns you don't need to do five or six but work your way up from two very intense sessions to three or four very intense sessions or whatever is your time limit for the for the week right uh, generally you want to work your way up to 150 minutes so like two and a half hours of intense resistance training every single week it has been proven this is the healthiest and also the contributing the most to your longevity so if you still want to be a healthy and vital sexually active 80 year old probably you should train about two and a half hours or two to three hours every single week right but you shouldn't start with three hours right away right just start with let's say 60 minutes of exercise right do 30 minutes on Monday do 30 minutes on Thursday and once you get into the swing of it once you start making progress let's add some more the same goes for your nutrition don't start from let's say eating 200 grams of protein every single day if you have never done that before start at 120 grams right so eat let's say um, 300 grams of chicken breast, 200 grams of cottage cheese, whatever, two eggs. That's going to be your diet for the day. And then you add another egg, like three eggs the next week, 250 grams of cottage cheese. Um, now, let's say next to the chicken breast, you're eating 100 grams of steak. Boom, you're up to 150 grams of protein per day. I'm just guessing the numbers just more or less right now but the thing is you want to progressively overload everything in your life if you want to stay consistent you can't start at the top right you can't stay committed to your health goals if you are starting with the extremes don't be an extremist in that sense right okay when it comes to your sleep just start stacking the habits with that as well right so if you want more energy and just generally higher vitality and focus levels during the day of course you want to have a consistent sleep routine and bedtime but if your bedtime has been so fucked up in the past couple of years that you're going to bed at 1 or 2 a.m. or like midnight or whatever you want to flex it with small increments every single week so don't start with okay from tomorrow I'm going to bed at 10 p.m. to reduce my stress hormone levels and everything will be alright no it's not gonna be alright because you won't be able to fall asleep because your brains sleep-wake cycle is not wired that way right you have to rewire your brain your body your mind your spirit everything to a new cycle right so if your natural bedtime when you're actually falling asleep has been 1 a.m. let's start with let's say 0 30 next week a week later 
flex it back to midnight, then flex it back to 11.30 p.m., right? So go gradually with that and start adding habits to your sleep routine that actually help you. Start adding natural supplements to your supplement stack that actually help you. Start implementing environmental changes that actually help you, right? Start from just like spending 20 minutes in sunlight per day. Get that vitamin D in and rewire your sleep-wake cycle. Uh, then increase it to 20, 25, 30 minutes a day, right? And slowly transform your lifestyle, your circumstances, your travels, uh, your meetings, your events around you in a way that every single day you will be able to get that amount of sunlight or at least that amount of um, time spent outdoors in general because you know that this will support your sleep-wake cycle, your melatonin, your sleep uh, hormone production, right? So there is one work from day one to day two. So if you couldn't get started with a certain sleep routine, for example, in the middle of the biggest turmoil in your life, in the biggest chaos, probably you shouldn't get started with that at all because you won't be able to sustain it in the long term. So start small, baby steps, start slow, and then you go for the more advanced steps because that's already, the basics are already an ingrained part of your lifestyle. Do you know what I'm saying? And finally, at the top of the pyramid, is just tracking your progress because how the hell would you be able to stay consistent with your health goals? how the hell would you be able to stay committed to a certain program if you're not getting momentum I know that you want to get started and you you have seen my client results um, you have been impressed by that you want to look like them you want to feel like them you want to perform like them and to maintain your results for decades to come that's great but that's just motivation. Motivation is an initial thing that lasts for maybe two weeks. After that you need momentum. And momentum is, is nothing else but motivation by your own success. So you get your first quick wins, but you won't get your quick wins if you are too strict with yourself because you will burn out sooner. So in the first two to three weeks, you should be able to get your quick wins, right? You are walking 3,000 steps more. You have lost your first two to three pounds, right? You have gotten stronger uh, on the bench press. You can do 10 more push-ups, whatever. You accumulate those quick wins first and you know how you have done them and how much you have done by measuring, tracking your progress. What gets measured gets improved. What gets measured gets managed. And this is how you get to that point where you are motivated by your own success instead of being motivated by other success or watching a motivational speech, right? Or watching a video like this. So if you need something like this to drag your ass down to the gym or to your home workout facility or just outdoors to do some push-ups, if you need that, that means that you are not motivated yet by your own success. You haven't got momentum going. You don't have a streak of progress that you could rely on. So measure everything that you do and if it's difficult for you have a coach have a workout app or whatever makes it easier for you to track your progress this is why we are sending out an aura ring to each of our clients it's a little device that you put on your fingers and it measures your sleep quality why because we want the device the machine actually in the future we want the ai to do all the heavy math for us and for you, you, all you have to do is just execute and find that balance in your life, find that connection that makes it flow. So it's not like a regimented, solid routine, it's more like a flow of lifestyle, right? And if you get in the flow, measure your progress and see where you could increase a little bit, right? This is all it takes because nutrition, workout and sleep, everything gets way better when you know your numbers and you are aware of them and when you see your numbers improve it's very easy to stay committed because every single week you know you finish off with a smile on your face that okay i actually succeeded because i did what i was supposed to do it was easy actually i enjoyed it and i got better at it so why wouldn't i keep going right so if you want to get into this positive feedback loop of success and you are not afraid of this transforming you completely, 
and you becoming unrecognizable and if you're not skeptical about everything you are not doubting yourself whether this would work for you or not and you're not the type who procrastinates and you feel like okay you could definitely use some personal guidance on how to actually get there how to build a routine that's actually sustainable and enjoyable and you need some help with sticking to it and getting to the best shape of your life getting below 15 percent body fat and doubling your natural energy levels if you need help with that and you happen to be a high achiever a corporate executive over the age of 40 and 50 book a free call below and we will craft up a game plan for you and a roadmap for the next six months on how we will make that happen without counting calories without training more than two to three hours per week or without having to take melatonin sleep drugs or any kind of sedatives so all naturally but if you are the type of person who doesn't believe in himself who doesn't believe that there is a way that works for them and who would rather rely on quick fixes external solutions or generally if you're just a person who is not ready to invest in their health or stay committed to a set of habits and <clears throat> you keep doubting yourself and coming up with excuses well then don't book a free call with us let's not waste each other's time you gotta strengthen your brain first you gotta get your mind in shape first so in case you're in this situation i highly recommend you to watch my previous videos where i teach you exactly how to do that and i help you with mindset a little bit and once your mind is strong enough then you can come back and when you're ready to invest book a free call with us if you can't if you haven't really decided yet whether it's a hell yes or a hell no for you, then don't book a call, right? If you book a call, from next week we are working together, right? If not, if you're not ready for that, just don't book the call, okay? And if you generally find this video useful, right? And you have already started stacking those habits, or maybe you have already thought of changing your lifestyle, and this was useful for you, and you found it simple to copy paste some of these recommendations over here then i'm really grateful for you so please put that or push that like and subscribe button and share this with your friends your family your colleagues your employees your team members or whoever is important to you and whoever you want to live a long healthy and sustainable lifestyle without torturing themselves without killing themselves in the gym without becoming a boring gym bro or without following crazy protocols like 90 day shred challenge 75 hard whatever which leads to burnout and inconsistency later on so if you're not a fan of yo-yo dieting and having your health look like this if you would rather have it go like on an upwards trajectory then definitely share this video like this and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching see you in the next one